Hi there, guys and girls. This is uh, TMK coming to you with another uh, voice sort of uh, voice video sort of thing. Uh, I just wanted to talk about a um, an event that I attended on Monday night. Uh, it was basically a uh, e what we call a, a Ubisoft night. Uh, I think the guys there call it Ubi night. Um, where we got to check out some of the upcoming Ubisoft gaming titles. Um, I always try and get invited to these things just because I love games. And, uh, yeah, pretty much that's the bottom line. I love games, so I try and get into these nights. I usually hear about them from someone because, like, you know, when you're the Mortal Kombat guy, you know, some of these companies, I don't know really, really who you are, but um, the Ubisoft guys are cool. Like they know me. I've been to a few of these things now, and um, they, uh, yeah, they're really cool. So yeah, I went down to Ubi Night and thought I'd check out um, a few games down there. The main one I wanted to check out, to be honest, was uh, Assassin's Creed 2 and Red Steel 2. Um, so yeah, got down there and uh, basically. Uh, Assassin's Creed 2 was on show, but it was only the PS3 version, and uh, we weren't allowed to play it yet, which was eh, a bit disappointing, but oh well, they're going to have another UB night in October or something where you'll be able to play it. Um, basically, they were showing the E3 version too, the E3 build, straight from um, LA, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah... Uh, the first thing, or uh, well, the thing they had on show was the trailer, which is magnificent. Uh, I'll be showing you that in this video, uh, after I finish yapping on. Uh, yeah. And they had a, uh, they had the game on show, but you weren't allowed to play it, but the guys were demoing it. So they had a specific route that they had to go through the game to show you, show you the demo version. Uh, basically... Uh, I was talking to the uh, Ubisoft guy there, Owen, and he was telling me about the, the story uh, of this character, and I hope I get this right. Uh, it's not Al uh, Altair, <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, this time, it's uh, it's a different assassin, and he's not part of the bloodline from the original, uh, you know, Altair family. Uh, he's been trained as an assassin, but he doesn't share their bloodline. And uh, the reason he's become, or he's put on the assassin garb, is because um, these, it, it's set in Italy, and there's these, uh, these wealthy kings sort of uh, controlling the territory. And uh, they've like basically murdered his like whole family or something. And uh, yeah, he's out for blood, so he's, he's put on the assassin's garb. And you know, he's gonna take revenge on him, uh, assassin style. <laughs> so, yeah, I like that. That's cool. Um, and uh, yeah, he was also telling me that um, you know he, he's not as serious because he's not you know part of the original bloodline. He doesn't take the Assassin's Creed as serious as Alatair does. You know, he, he's uh, he'll show off a bit more. You know, he wants he wants to be in their face. He wants them to feel feel the. Uh, his revenge. He wants to feel. Wants them to feel the the blade cutting through. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So I was impre uh, very impressed with the way that they've gone about this version because the first Assassin's Creed was it was great and uh, very epic with the the art style and the design of the city and everything. Uh, this one has a bit more color, which is really clever by having like you know. Uh, street festivals and things like that, you know, in those days where they all wore, like, those masks and stuff, and you'll see it in the trailer, and, yeah, no, it looks really cool. I think, I, I think I'll enjoy this one <clears throat> a lot more than this, than the first one. Um, to be honest, <coughs> excuse me, the first game, I played it a lot on demo, I played demos all over the place, I, I kept seeing it, like, and then, uh, I went to buy it, and, um, from EV, and I wanted the, the special edition that came in the tin, and there were none left, and that really pissed me off, so I never bought it, and, um, you know, then I kept seeing, I kept seeing the game everywhere for 110 bucks, and that just pissed me off more, because I thought, if I'm going to spend 110 bucks Australian, I want the bloody tin, so, <clears throat> you know, I didn't buy it for a while, I thought maybe I'd find one, or, you know, suddenly a whole lot of tins would turn up at EB, 
<coughs> Grand Theft Auto 4, you know, and, um, yeah, but, no, <laughs> there were never any more tins, I don't know why, this is the only game, I've only ever had this happen with two games, Assassin's Creed and, uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, uh, when it was new, they ran out, and I just bought the standard one, but then, suddenly, there were all these tins just showed up, and I was just like, yeah, I just don't care, I just don't like Grand Theft Auto 4 anymore. And, um, but yeah, no, I would have liked to have had the Assassin's Creed tin. However, uh, I was given one of the tins the other day, but, uh, it's just in the empty tin, you know, so I've got the tin, but I don't have what came in it. I don't know what came in it. Maybe a soundtrack or something. But, um, yeah, no, I finally picked up the game the other day. It was only 25 bucks, so I'm playing it now, and, uh, I'm going to be ready for Assassin's Creed 2 when it comes out at the end of the year, so. Finally, finally got the game. I always wanted to get it. I just, uh, yeah, I was just pissed off about that whole tin thing. Just enough to put me off. So <laughs> also, very expensive, you know, being 110 bucks. But, yeah, I dropped to 50, and now it's uh, only 25 on sale at the moment at EB. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much all I've got to say about Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, now, check out the trailer. The trailer is magnificent, I have to say. Uh... As someone who likes movies a lot, um, you can. There's a lot of uh, really, really cool lighting direction on this trailer, and uh, a lot of cool shots, and and the music's really epic, and yeah, I just love the way this trailer's filmed. It's very cool. So enjoy it, and uh, yeah, I'll be back to talk about more Ubisoft games. Once I've dealt with you, I promise I'll give her my full attention.
Alrighty, that was pretty sweet, huh? Next up we got uh, Call of Juarez, uh, which is a game, another game that um, I really don't really know the history of it. To be honest, I was talking to my mate in uh, Game Store the other day, and uh, he told me that he was playing this at the moment, and he said it's very cool, and um, I'd never even heard of it. And um, yeah, apparently this is the sequel, I'm not sure what the first one was called, maybe just uh, Call of Juarez. Because the one's called Call of Juarez Bound in Blood. Um, <clears throat> he said he's playing it and it's very cool. And um, I didn't even think this would be at UB Night, but because it's uh, uh, just was just released, they had that on show, so I, I gave it a go. And uh, yeah, no, it's a lot of fun. If you like westerns, like a lot of people out there love westerns, you'll love this game. It's like an interactive western, and it's got all the cool camera angles from the old school western movie. It's got all this, all the stuff. Like the the gun the gun jewels and and all that you gotta you know draw your gun which I was hopeless at by the way I got killed every time and the other guy just looked at me like I was a retard or something <laughs> he picked it up and killed the guy straight away <laughs> I'm just like <laughs> you gotta like pull your arm over to the gun and then you gotta like shoot at the same time uh, I was too slow I I get killed every time <laughs> I think I guess I better stick to uh, Mortal Kombat battles but um. Yeah, yeah, no, the the game's very cool. You can, yeah, run around and uh, you got, like, all, you know, the typical gangsters that come in with their cowboy hats and ride on horses and, you know, duck behind barrels and, you know, it's the dusty town, mud bricks and the the art, again, the art, uh, the level design and the artwork is uh, top-notch. Um, yeah. So, yeah, uh, I yeah, asked my friend, he, he he's a big movie buff. Uh, he's a guy making that addiction film. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Uh, link to it on my uh, Total MK channel, but um, yeah, he played the first one and he said he loved that game and he didn't even know the second one was out, so I told him and yeah, he's going to be playing that one shortly, so yeah. Um, yeah, uh, this is really all I've got to say. I mean, I got to play it. Uh, I did okay. Um, I wanted, there's, a, there's this cool feature where you can, um, as you kill guys, you sort of build up like a, like a, I don't know, like an aggressor bar, if I can compare it to Mortal Kombat Trilogy for a second there. Uh, as you kill guys, you build up uh, like this little uh, revolver icon in the corner, and when it gets full, you can sort of unleash this uh, slow motion sort of like sort of like rage mode uh, with a gun. <laughs> so yeah, you hold down B, and then you just like you target like you know as many guys as you can within like five seconds or something, and then when you let go, it goes boom, 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 boom and they all just fall, you know, which is pretty sweet. So yeah, it was good game. Check out the trailer. Uh, it's a very cool trailer. It's it just reminds me so much of a film. It's like uh, it's got you know the the gun runner and and then you got the brother who's the the priest. And it's it's yeah, it's very cool. So yeah, check it out. August eighteen sixty four. The war between the states was almost over, but for the McCall brothers, it was only just beginning. Atlanta was burned to the ground. My wife and children murdered in their beds. I bolted the door, but they broke it down. I tried to protect her. After the war, we'll come back here, and this'll be our home again. I've heard tales of an Aztec treasure buried in the hills just outside of Juarez. Aztec gold, emeralds, diamonds as big as your fist, and they can be ours. What about our plan? Rebuilding our family farm. That's why I want the treasure, brother. Without gold, that plan is just fantasy. What the hell is wrong with you two? You act like the war never ended. And you can just take what you want. Walk away.
What have you done? You just killed a U.S. Marshal. We should just turn ourselves in. He drew on you first. You think they gonna believe us? What do you want from me, Ray? I want justice. Thou shalt not kill. It's a little late for that, little brother. I'm not leaving my brother to die. First, I'll say uh, Rayman Raving Rabbids was the first game I bought on the Wii. Uh, while everyone else was running off to Zelda, because I'm not really a Zelda fan, to be honest. I've never really gotten into it. Um, yeah, I bought Rayman with my first Wii title. Oh, Raving Rabbids, I'll call it. Because when I say Rayman, I just think of uh, Rayman, <laughs> um, which I never really played. I think I played it like once. Back in 1995 or 6 or something. <laughs> no, no, it was later than that. 98 or something. It was on PS1. But yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, I uh, really liked the first one on the Wii. It was, uh, it's, it's, it's a perfect game for the use of the Wii control. Um, yeah, a whole lot of little challenges. Sort of a lot like uh, WarioWare. Um, whereas WarioWare, the... Um, the games uh, are easy to play, but they're quick. Whereas these games are easy to play, but the, they'll draw out the levels. So, and uh, this one was uh, a lot like that too. Pretty much, just more of the same. Um, obviously, new levels, new challenges. Um, yeah. Uh, excuse me. <coughs> Man, <laughs> it's the mo early morning here, so yeah, it's cold and. Uh, <laughs> my throat's all weird, so, but, um, yeah, yeah, the levels are, um, new levels, they're sort of epic, they go a lot longer, they have a lot of those levels where you have to sort of race to the end, they get around the obstacles, uh, if you want, like, if you, you love your Wii and you love, uh, using the, the Wii control, this is a must-have game, uh, kids will love this game, um, even I loved it, I had fun playing it, I gotta be honest, but I'm a bit over the rabbit, the rabbits, to be honest. Um, I guess a lot of people are. Um, I think it's more that I'm just over the Wii. Uh, I guess, to be honest. Um, there's, a, oh, there's a few, th a few reasons why. Um, I just uh, think Nintendo, not Yubi, Nintendo themselves have just become a pack of greedy bastards, and um, you know they just charge for everything now. They don't drop their games anymore. They don't put games down in price, they don't have like a cheap range, they don't do the same with DS, if they're making money, all they want to do is keep making money, you know, they just, uh, they'll flog it and flog it and flog it until, um, until it won't sell, and then they'll make it cheap, which is, which is totally unfair, I mean, you got a game, like, I know I already brought this up, but you got a game like, uh, Super Mario Galaxy, and it's still a hundred bucks, that's just wrong, that game's three years old, it should be in a, uh, a uh, cheap collection now, but, you know, Nintendo just don't care, because they're selling Wii Fit, and Wii, and, what's that new one, um, bloody, uh, Wii Sports Resort, you know, it's, as long as that shit keeps selling, they, they won't ever even bother putting games down in price, but, um, yeah, yeah, so it's just one, yeah, just haven't played the Wii a lot, and, yeah, just the whole battery thing, bloody thing. The batteries go flat on it all the time. You know, you're not playing it, and it drains the batteries. I, that's just stupid. So, yeah, sort of got a bit fed up with the Wii, and the fact that they didn't bring the Commodore games out to Australia really shit me too. So, yeah. But if you want to play, if you want to play a, a cool game with the Wii remote, um, a good part. This is a good party game, especially if you get some people over, start drinking, pull this game out. Uh, you'll have a lot of fun, guaranteed. So, yeah. Check out the trailer, which is pretty bizarre. Warning, there's lots of underpants in it. Uh, so, you've been warned. For the humans, life is one big party. 
Drive safely and courteously. Work hard. Then, shop till you drop. But one day, everything changed. The rabbits need stuff. Tons of stuff. Anything. And every. For their ultimate plan. Build a pile. To the moon. Something stinks around here. Nothing gets through these masks. Do take a shower. What? Shoot! No, I've got a wedgie! Shoot? Where? Where? <laughs> this year, join a totally insane adventure that will blow your mind <laughs> and help the rabbits get home. Ooh, who turned down the AC? I warned ya! <laughs> uh, pretty cool trailer, huh? Yeah, um... So yeah, uh, like, I, uh, I should say that, um... It, it was very easy to play, uh... Rabbids Go Home, so... If you like those games, you'll have a lot of fun with that one. Uh, now we're talking about Red Steel 2. So... Um, for those of you who don't know, uh... Red Steel was one of the first games I saw unveiled, uh, at E3 in 2006, uh, that video is up on my YouTube there actually, uh, you can see the guys playing it, um, yeah, when, when I actually got to play it, uh, after that, the, the press show, I actually got my hands on it, the guy was impressed, he was, the, the, the guy that designs the game, they were demoing it in, in the Nintendo pavilion, and, uh, I just picked it up and just like, imagined it was a sword and just started swinging away and, and he was impressed. He was like, "You're good at this. You're good at this." <laughs> I can't do a French accent, <laughs> but um, I I just had to master. I couldn't master the um, the movement yet with the Wii remote and the nunchuck and that. But um, he was impressed with my sword skills. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I got to the end and really uh, beat the crap out of that last guy. But uh, Red Steel Two, yeah, it's pretty much the same. I, I picked it up and I just imagine it's a sword, and I just go spastic, uh, just swing it all over the place. So if you ever see me with a Wii uh, remote in my hand and Red Steel on uh, on the machine, uh, I wouldn't get too close because I'll probably like hit you in the face with the Wii remote, you know, just swinging around like an idiot going. Aah! <laughs> But, um, yeah, no, it was cool. Um, there's, yeah, it's got a mixture of guns and, um, the sword and everything again. And it's got, it got a bit of a, um, a, a, how do I put this? A multicultural feel to it. There's, like, uh, some levels that feel, like, more, um, like, Asian. Like, you know, bamboo and, you know, the big epic red doors and doorways and things like that. And then you got parts of the levels that were, like, uh, Sort of like uh, Cola Juarez, where it was like uh, western and sort of dusty and um, mud brick and uh, things like that. So it's a very interesting game. Um, I never, to be honest, I never really ended up getting Red Steel on the Wii. Uh, I came very close a few times to buying it, and then uh, I don't know. It was just uh, just sort of stuck with um, Rayman for a while. And uh, what was the other game I got? I can't remember now. I got like two games on launch. Ah, oh, Sonic. Yeah, let's not talk about Sonic. Um, Sonic and the Secret Rings. But um, yeah, no. Nah, um, yeah. So you know, Red. St if you enjoyed Red Steel One, I think you'd like this one a lot better because uh, the level design seemed a lot better. Um, the sword attack seemed like it seemed like there were new motions you could do with the Wii Remote. I was sort of just, uh, I don't know if any Ubisoft guys were watching me, but if they were, they were probably having the biggest laugh ever. Uh, I think they were busy packing up, though. Um, when I got my hands it was t on the remote, it was sort of towards the end of the night, and I was just going crazy, man. I was trying to figure out all these cool sword attacks, 
like you know I would like put the Wii remote over my head and like pull it push it down towards the ground like I was sort of like you know slicing down and that actually worked and then I did it backwards you know I did it from from uh, underarm sort of upwards like a slash upwards that worked too and obviously the left right stuff worked uh, one of the coolest ones was I uh, did a figure eight motion and yeah he swings the sword like which was cool so I was sort of just doing all this stuff trying to figure out these sword attacks I was fighting this boss at the time and he froze for some reason he was stuck on something so he couldn't get me and I was just like using all these sword attacks on him and uh, it was hard to do damage to him so it worked out nicely because uh, I just kept swinging and swinging until he died <laughs> and then I beat the demo so but yeah um, yeah it looks like they refined the motions with this with the uh, with the rear mm. remote to giving you a lot more different uh, sword attacks so yeah Red Steel 2 uh, was a lot of fun I gotta say um, like I said I'm a bit over Wii games personally but uh, if you like Red Steel 1 you'll like Red Steel 2 guaranteed so check out the trailer Alrighty, I gotta be honest, up next is uh, a trailer for Soul Calibur, uh, Broken something, Broken Destiny, is it? Something like that, hang on, let me check, go and check my pictures, go and check my pictures, go and check my pictures, don't I have it here, oh crap, sure it was broken, broken something, sure it's Broken Destiny, there it is, Broken Destiny, yes, okay, I gotta be honest, I'm not a big Soul Calibur fan, you know, I'm pretty much about MK, but uh, you know, I gave it a go, I, I played it. Uh, one of the most interesting things I thought was, um, you know the God of War character? I don't know his name. Like, he's a playable character in the game, which is sort of interesting. I guess Sony likes to have little crossovers like that, but um, I, I guess actually I should really say, I guess that's a Soul Calibur thing, because remember when they released, uh, was it Soul Calibur 4? No. 3? Is it 3? No, 2. It was 2. Remember when it came out on GameCube, it had like Link in it? And it had like a, uh, uh, what's his name, Hiachi, Hiachi Hiroshima or whatever his name is, bloody from Tekken, and then it had uh, Spawn on the 360 version. I think they did that as well for, oh yeah, they did, they had Yoda and all that in um, number four, that's right. Uh, I'm just, yeah, I'm not up on um, on it all 100% just because I, I don't really have an interest in Soul Calibur, but... Uh, um, yeah, no, I gave it a go, and, uh, yeah, it was okay. It was just a, what you'd expect, uh, Soul Calibur on PSP. 
Um, the trail is very unimpressive, I've got to be honest. It's more just of a teaser, I guess. I guess they're still working on it, but um, yeah, it's just a very quick teaser, so don't expect anything out of the uh, trailer much. But um, I've got a few little screenshots here that I took from the night, and um, you can check them out, as well as the trailer. If you like Soul Calibur and you got a PSP, yeah, you'll want to get this one, just for the fact. It, it looks very good on the screen. Uh, with Sony has a very good screen, so and Soul Calibur's visually uh, got visual eye candy, so it looked very good on the PSP. So yeah, check it out, and I'll be back to talk about uh, the last Ubi game, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Smash Up. Transcending history and the world. A tale of souls and swords, eternally retold. I said the last game, sorry. Uh, Ninja Turtles is the last game, but there's one more before Ninja Turtles, and that's Tom Clancy's Conviction. Now, uh, not into the Tom Clancy games, to be honest, and I think there's been like, I don't know, 50 of them <laughs> so far, so, you know, uh, I just picked this up purely as a, an interested gamer and just gave it a shot, and I've got to say, um, <clears throat> for me, not knowing anything about the games and just having a bit of a, a knowledge of, uh, you know, shooting games, uh, I was able to really pick up and play this quite easily. Um, just using the strafe, sort of the strafing that you learned in the old PC games like Duke Nukem and Doom and all that. You know, you just use the strafing and, and I was just spraying and just sort of sprayed and killed all the guys. And, yeah, the level looked really cool. Uh, again, um... I know I'm giving props pretty much to every game on the level design, but the level design in these games was really good. Um, had cool lighting. Uh, inside was a bit, I don't know, the, the level was the mansion or something. Inside was a bit, bit of a stereotype inside. It looked cool outside, but inside the house, <coughs> the rooms were a bit, you know, just sort of square, square room, square room, square room. Um, but yeah, it was very easy to play. I... I beat the demo first go, I didn't even die, which I was surprised at. Maybe it's a bit easy, but that was probably for the demo purposes. They usually make the demos quite easy, just so you don't get, you know, owned and owned and owned. <laughs> they, want, they want you to experience the whole level or, or what they've got on show, so... Yeah. If you like Tom Can if you like Tom Clancy, you'll want to play this game. Uh, the trailer looks very cool, again, uh, filmed really well, and... Uh, yeah, easy to play, a lot of fun. I played this one on the 360s, so uh, I don't know if this one's coming on PS3, but uh, yeah, uh, I don't know if it's exclusive or not, but um, yeah, if you like it, get it, because you're sure to enjoy um, continuing on the story of, uh, of this character. Um, yeah, that's why it's called Conviction, so check out the trailer, because uh, it speaks for itself. Like any man, when he's pushed to his limits, he's capable of anything. When someone strikes at the ones he loves, he will take any steps necessary. He's looking for answers, for the truth. Dad? There is no walking away from us, Fisher. We made you, we own you, and we always will. He will stand by his convictions. Sam Fisher, you know, is dead. The man who played by the rules, who listened to the voice in his ear, he's gone. So watch your back. 
I can't stop them. No one can. This is bigger than your daughter. This is bigger than both of us. The people behind this. You can't hide from them. Who said anything about hiding? What happens next is up to you. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. If you're into those uh, sort of shooting, shooting sort of things, uh, shooting trailers, yeah, that's a cool trailer. I, I like the uh, the gun looked really cool in that trailer. Okay, so last game now is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Smash Up. Uh, basically, uh, what can I say about this? Uh, <laughs> I'm coming off as a non-gamer in this video because pretty much every game I talk about, I'm like, I haven't played this one. I gotta be honest. I haven't played uh, Super Smash Brothers. I'm just, I'm not into it. Up, uh, uh, wait, no, sorry. Hang on. I did play it on Cube, and I got totally pwned by uh, by some guy who who owns the game, and he was like legendary at it. And I'm just like, I'll be Pikachu and I'll shock your ass, you know. And uh, I picked it up, and uh, he, I think he killed me with the Game and Watch character or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so, I haven't played much Super Smash Brothers before, but, um, this is basically the, uh, the next, uh, sort of, if you liked, uh, Super Smash Brothers on, on, uh, Wii, you'll want to get the Ninja Turtles one, because, like, we all love Ninja Turtles, and, uh, interesting enough, they've based these models, though, on the Ninja Turtles movie, the last CG one, like, April looks like she did in that, and, uh, the Ninja Turtles, so did the Turtles and Splinter and, and, uh, oh, not Shredder, because he wasn't in it, but, um, Shredder looks like Shredder from the new cartoons, so, yeah, it's, uh, Ninja Turtles has sort of had it a bit rough lately, um, the new cartoon was really good, and then it sort of went silly, it started off really cool, and then, I don't know, they love to introduce monsters and shit, like, the monsters are okay, but... They just push it too far. I don't know. I just I sort of like just watching them battle Shredder. Shredder's cool. Um, yeah, and then, you know, they had the movie came out, and, of course, it was all about monsters and fucking dimensional portals and shit, and I was just like... <sighs> and then at the end, they were like, old enemies would be coming back or something, and I was like, <gasps> Shredder! And then the movie ended, and I was like, fuck. <laughs> you know, so... <laughs> They're probably never going to make a sequel just to shit me. <laughs> so, but, um, yeah, nah, back to the game. <laughs> um, yeah, you got, like, April, uh, Shredder, and the Turtles and Splinter were in this demo. Uh, I had a really quick go, to be honest, of this game, and I sort of had no idea what I was doing. Um, yeah, there was no one around, um, because this was at the end of the night again, uh, to sort of explain the controls. I think they were packing up, so we were just trying to figure it out, and, um, yeah, the, uh, you, like, drop items, and it's one of those multi-floor, you know, really high levels, where they, they're skinny, but they go high up, so you can sort of go right up, and sort of, you know, battle, you know, do air juggle combos, and you battle in the air, you know, multi-platform sort of thing, so you can, you know, sort of spring off, and go up higher and higher, and, yeah, um, yeah, it's four players, so if you're into the, the Smash Brothers Brawl, having, like, tournaments, or, you know, Again, nights where you get pissed and bring all your friends over. Yeah, you'll love this one. Especially if you like the Ninja Turtles, man. It was just cool. I, I was playing as Donatello, because he's like my favourite. And uh, I th my friend was playing... Uh, who was he playing as? He was Leonardo or something. Yeah, and um, yeah, no, it was good fun. Good game. Uh, I'd, I'd call it a party game. See, games like this, because they're the four-player, um, I'd call this a party game. I'd call Rabbits a party game. Uh, just because they're a lot more fun, you play with a lot of people around. You know, you play them by yourself. They're, they're enjoyable, but you you can't really play Super Smash Brothers Smash Up by yourself. It just I don't know. It just wouldn't be like what would be the point? It's the point is, is that it's multi uh, that it's multiplayer. You know, to play other players and 
and pit your skills against them. I mean, there may be some sort of uh, single-player mission or training or something. I don't know. Like I said, this is just a demo, so... One thing I thought was interesting, there was no Casey Jones. Uh, I guess maybe they're still working on him, and he'll be coming later or, or something. But uh, I thought that was curious that there was no Casey Jones, man. Casey Jones is cool. So, yeah. Um, I had fun playing it. Uh, check out the trailer. It pretty much shows off uh, what it's about. Uh, yeah, and I've got a few, oh, just a few photos here that you, oh, we, you are seeing as I'm talking. So, I'm sort of, this is this video is tricky because I have to record the sound of me talking and then sort of, I don't know, just put it over the top of the pictures and then sort of put the video in at the end. So, I'm sort of doing it all in parts. So, I sort of don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, yeah. <sighs> um, yeah, uh, I guess I should wrap it up uh, because that's the last game. There were there were a few other games. Some were just videos. Um, there was another PSP game there. It was some anime one uh, that I had absolutely no interest in. Uh, I knew nothing about it. I, I even said that to the UB guy. Uh, I hope I didn't shatter him too much. <laughs> I just said I'm not into that anime crap. So, <laughs> so I didn't even touch it, which was probably not cool. I might have liked the game, but um, I don't know. You gotta if it's based on something, you gotta sort of have a back knowledge. But um. Oh, well. that's the way she goes. Uh, I had a great time. Thanks, Ubisoft, for letting me in. Uh, thanks for the free beers, too. Uh, unlike some, I drank responsibly. There was some guy who was fucking, I don't know, he's going off his face at the end. Yeah, fucking shit, fuck this, fuck that. You know, I'm surprised he wasn't chucked out, but, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was good fun. There were a lot of people there, uh, got to talk to a, a lot of people. The Ubisoft staff were really cool. Uh, I'd like to thank, uh, Owen, Lisa, and Toby for being cool. Um, uh, I guess I should thank everyone, you know, I just remember their names. I spoke to those guys the most, but, uh, all the Ubisoft were cool. All the Ubisoft staff were cool, so, yeah, uh, thanks again, and I'm looking forward to Ubi Night in October, where I better be able to get my hands on Assassin's Creed 2, Otherwise, you guys are going to be assassinated. So, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, have a great day. I fight for justice. I fight for world domination. I fight for honor. I fight for what's right. I fight. Because it's fun! Turtles smash up this fall.